Hey y'all, it's your girl Arezi. Welcome back. Before we go ahead and get started into this video, excuse the noise. I'm not gonna let that noise stop me from making content that I have to get out there. So, how to glow up over summer. So, I'm gonna be honest. If you wanna glow up over the summer, you have to do it for you. You can't do it for validation, for the envy of others, or you idolize other celebrities and you want to look like them. You have to do it for you because I'm going to be honest, that world is not going to last. If you are ready to take that step to not impress people, to do it for yourself, to have confidence, then this right here is the video for you. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going into three categories, the physical, the mental, the spiritual. I know that we always talk about skincare, skincare this, skincare that. I know it's a trendy topic. But let's be honest, what everybody is putting on their face is not always for you. First things first, use products that work for you. If you don't want to go to a dermatologist, I went to a dermatologist. They didn't do anything for me. Maybe I didn't go to the right one. But ever since then, I've just been doing what works for me. If it works for me in the past, it works for me now. Why would I switch it up because of a trend? Aquaphor does not work for my skin. I literally will be a grease ball, okay? But for some people, it works because, girl... I have experience doing trends and my skin just went crazy. But is it really worth it jeopardizing your whole like skin? I don't know about that. Oily skin, get products that decrease the oiliness. If you have dry skin, get pro use products that increase your hydration or use serums, things of that sort. You know what I mean? Use products that work for your skin type. Inside of the skincare, make sure that you are hydrating. Listen. One thing about me, one thing about me, one thing about me, anybody can tell you, I'm going to drink some water. Water is so essential. Like, I don't know why, but even as a child, like water always tasted so good. Like it's so refreshing. It doesn't taste like anything. I'm very stickler on like how things taste. So it was just like a perfect win-win for me. But if you don't like drinking water like that, girl, I got you. Or throw in some like cucumber and mint, maybe even like a strawberry, or you can even get like a water cup, like a cup infuser for your gut. It's so important to regulate your body. Like our body is made of 95% of water, which I can't really believe because if I'm drinking majority of my lifestyle, if I'm drinking only soda, just think about what's having the reaction on my body and you may be young watching this video you may not even realize that how your body is but I'm telling you it catches up if you are in your 20s and you're not drinking water and you're on and not on your vitamins and you're not treating your body well it will catch up we have to start taking care of ourselves now we get older that our body will thank us you know what I mean drink water we we can do as much as we want with our skincare but if our body can't flush out the toxins, where do we think the toxins are going to our face? So make sure that you are properly hydrating yourself. More important than just, oh, I don't wanna drink water. It is actually disrespectful to your body. Next thing I really wanna point out with skincare and why my skin was doing so bad. Girl, why was I using sunscreen? Make sure you put on sunscreen. Make sure you have a skincare routine where you also include sunscreen. I used to walk outside in this hot summer heat, getting dark spots from acne because I wasn't wearing sunscreen. I was thinking in my head, oh, I'm black. I don't have to wear sunscreen, girl. Wear it, I'm telling you, oh, thank you. I wear sunscreen now all over my body. I have a whole, I have a whole body sunscreen. I have a face sunscreen. I have, like, I'm on it with the sunscreen. Like, I don't play. It also prevents dark spots. If you go outside and you pop a pimple, go outside, you're, the sun's gonna darken your spots. You need to wear sunscreen also if you wear if you have a lot of like ahas in your skincare routine your skin will literally get dark just because you're not wearing sunscreen you ever wonder why you always have like hyperpigmentation around your skin yep because you need to wear sunscreen so start wearing sunscreen you will thank me later next thing we're going to get into is hair care get a hairstyle if you ever want to if you want to glow up over summer i'm telling you the biggest move is not even skincare girl it is the hair care. Hair changes how you look, okay? I got these braids, right? They're cute. But imagine if I had got black. Yeah, you exactly. I would blend in. I like to pop out. I like to stand out. So I got brown and blonde. I'm a blondie. I've always changed my hair color. I've had blonde. I can put it here. I've had uh, orange hair, ginger hair. I've had red hair. I don't know if you have to go through that phase of like discovering which hair color works for you what haircut works for you that frames your face as well 
to see like if that your undertones, your face type, going to a hairstylist or getting like a consultation done to see like what type of hair or what type of like color or hairstyle is best for you. You can also go on Pinterest. I use Pinterest a lot, giving me a lot of like hairstyles that I want to do next. So if you want to go on Pinterest, I know for probably most likely all on all on Pinterest, but that is a great place for inspiration, okay? So if you want to take care of your hair, if you want to do a major glow up, hair is the biggest one. Trimming your hair, cutting your hair, coloring it. But most importantly, make sure that you're not leaving the house with dry, brittle hair. One thing about hair is gonna show you how you've been treating it. Make sure that you use those deep conditioning masks, make sure that you are moisturizing it, Make sure that you're not just waking up, showering, and heading out the door. It's not good for the keratin. Doing a hair routine as well. If you do have flakes, making sure that you use tea tree oil, rosemary oil, or some type of mint. I also recommend Nizoral if you have like a lot of flakes. I used to use that a lot. It got it gone because I used to always wear buns a lot and I still do. So it works great. Make sure that you're using a heat protectant. Make sure that your hair doesn't doesn't burn off because honestly if we're doing all this and we're not protecting our hair what is even the point if you want to glow up over summer hair is like the biggest move maybe a new hair color maybe a new cut a new trim different hairstyle different length just take care of your hair in general and find a style that works for you that you can actually upkeep on a daily basis and especially on a monthly basis let's get into the next subcategory which is my favorite health and fitness Okay, girls, we got to get our bodies together, okay? Health and fitness, okay? We have to get our bodies together. I think people have this whole mindset that, like, getting in the gym is all about, like, being skinny and, like, it's really not about that. Health and fitness just means healthiness and fitness. That's it. It's all about making sure that you are in a healthy state. I go to the gym three times a week, sometimes one to two times a week. It really depends on my schedule, but I always make sure I at least get into the gym at least once a week. Why? Because that helps me feel my best. When I'm in the gym, I'm the most happiest person ever. I'm eating my best. I'm meal prepping. Girl, I've been meal prepping like crazy. Meal prepping will literally save you from eating out. Your calories, how much you're eating, that you're taking in, calories just leaving when you go and do exercise. Are you maintaining your weight? Are you actually losing weight? Like girl, all of this matters. All I'm saying is getting the gym. Well, getting in the gym has saved my mental. In the beginning, it was about, oh, I want to look this way. I want to do this. But once the journey started journeying, it was just like, no, I want to feel at my best. I want to look in the mirror and I want to smile and look at my body and be like, dang, that's you. When it comes to being at your best self and bettering yourself, which is what we're doing, exercising will definitely help you feel at your best. It doesn't even have to be the gym. It could be Walking around the neighborhood, it could be Pilates, it could be swimming, it could be a slow stretching exercise, like whatever makes you feel your best, now is the time to do that. Making sure that not only are we focusing on our exercise, but we're also fueling our body up with great nutrition, your fruits, veggies, juicing, you know, um, protein. And personally, when I don't eat right, I don't feel like right. Like, I feel good. But when I put in foods that are actually healthy for me, I produce kind of like a plant. Your plant has good soil. And if you water it and if you nurture it, the plant is going to grow so big. If you don't plant your seed in good soil and you don't nurture it, well, it's not really going to grow. Put good nutrition in your body to have good results. Another thing that I really want to point out is making sure you get at least eight hours of sleep. Making sure you are in bed by 9 p.m. That's my rule. If I'm in bed by 9 p.m., I'm good. I can wake up at 4.30. I can wake up at 5. If I'm in the bed by 8 or 7, I can wake up at 3 a.m. You can do it. Go to sleep at 7 or 8, you can wake up at 3 a.m. If you go to sleep by 9, you can wake up at 4.35. And I mean, today I just did. You can do it. You can do it. Our physical glow up with our skincare, our hair care, and our health and fitness. And making sure that we're not doing any of this to receive validation, but to give validation to ourselves. Moving on to our mental glow up. Starting 
with getting hobbies okay it's time to get out the house girl it's summer we go do batman or go swimming or play tennis there's so many things to do to get that creativity get that mood boost going on because hobbies are so important because i'm telling you idols mine is the devil's time get out that house okay get off your phone okay i know you may be on your phone listening to this this is actually like resourceful and valuable knowledge being inside of the four walls all day literally brings me depression. If, and if, if it brings me depression, I know what it's bringing others. Probably depression, anxiety, low self-esteem because you're looking at yourself too much. You're not getting outside and getting the vitamin D for your skin, for your body, for your bone. Getting outside is the best thing to do during the summer. And it may be hot, so you may have to do it at night. But girl, getting some hobbies is the bomb, okay? It just brings so much. It just brings out your femininity and it really boosts your move so next things first i don't know if you already do this but it is to journal i have my five minute journal right here i write in this almost every single day besides my christian book you cannot trauma dump your life on everything and personally i wouldn't want everybody to know my business or my goals or how my day went what i'm grateful for like all of this is mental I felt like in high school, if I had a journal where I like wrote out like how the days went, how I'm feeling, how the night going, wonder and like a safe for your feelings, thoughts, your goal, gratefulness. It's just so important. And I really do think that journaling has help me become a better person because I'm not weighing burden thoughts on me because I've already wrote them out and I don't feel the necessary need to have that weight on me. I feel like a relief. Please get a journal. It is the best thing that ever happened to me. I know it's the best thing that ever happened to you. If you need therapy or if you feel like you need to talk to someone, therapy shouldn't have this like stereotype around it. It has this like stereotype around it that it's like, girl, therapy is the best thing. One of the best things that happened to me. It wasn't the best therapy, but I was able to speak a lot of my thoughts and it didn't leave the room. So I also want to advise that. Next is setting boundaries, okay? Say no to protect your energy, okay? People will only treat you as far as you let them, okay? I have cut off a lot of people in my life or just have not simply spoken to them or answered them because when I say no or when I say that I can't go somewhere or... You know, when I'm tired of being that friend that always tries, you know, I either don't get a response back or I have to end up putting them off because I am not going to let people try to control me. The only person that can control me is God. I'm not going to let another human being tell me, be mad because of the decision that I made. You're putting yourself first, okay? If you do not actually want to do something and you do it, you're going to feel terrible, but if you say no and set boundaries, they're going to treat you different and treat you better. Try to have more respect for you. And you're also going to build that discipline to not say yes to everything. Saying yes to everything is draining. Okay, girl, we got to work on that. So setting boundaries with people, saying no, or just turning down things that you actually don't want to go to, or even just how people speak with you. A person is rude to you, you know, maybe even possibly cutting it off right then and there. That way they know how to come correct next time. The next thing I want to focus on, it goes in the same setting boundaries, is just only having people around you that uplift you. If they're dragging you down, no. This is how you blow up over summer. You stop tolerating people in your life that are disrespectful. Now, if it's your parents, you'll move out soon. But if it's people that you, that are outside of your household, you can cut them off. You can slow down the communication with them. You don't have to tolerate somebody being rude to you or disrespectful. Setting boundaries is the best thing that has happened to me because people just don't, they don't engage with me. If, if it's not positive, they know not to engage. If it's negative, I don't want it. And they know that. So if you want to build that self-respect or like that discipline that people have regarding to you, then you need to do that. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is saying positive affirmations, listening to podcasts during your routine. Get a routine, girl. Wake up at a certain, certain amount of time at a certain amount of time, get up, go to the gym, say your positive affirmations on the way or listen to the Bible, head to the gym, do your certain workout, you know, do your calorie intake, meal prep, then get into whatever you need to get into, your hobbies or work and of course work that around your work schedule. 
but I'm telling you, girl, what makes a woman that girl is that she is putting herself first in every way, okay? Her physical, her mental, spiritual. Positive affirmations have helped me so much. I know people are like, oh, they don't work, but it's just literally I'm calling it as though they were. I am confident. I am happy. I will be successful. You know, even if I'm not successful, even if I'm not that other person, I'm claiming it. You know why? Because I'm stepping into that woman that I aim to be. And I can't be that woman moping around and feeling sad. I need to do a mind shift switch. I need to do an identity switch. So positive affirmation actually do help you shift your mindset from one reality to the next reality. I genuinely believe that it has helped me and I believe that it can help you as well. So now let's go ahead and get into the spiritual glow up. And one that starts piece, off okay. with find what brings you peace, okay? Jesus brings me peace. I love nature. I love to just relax and just be still. That is what brings me peace. Journaling brings me peace. I had to focus on my glow up and like why was was I doing this for other people or was I doing this for me? I had to connect to my inner self and a lot of another reason why people glow ups don't last as long, why mine didn't last as long is because I was doing it, put the trust in someone else's hand, tell me if I was attractive or not. No, 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 no. That's because your inner self, you don't trust your inner self. You write and journal about why you feel like this way. Figure out your purpose, why you're here on earth. Connect with yourself. Get into the Bible, okay? A lot of people may say so many things, but the Bible is consistent throughout the years. It has remained the same and it will help you connect with your inner self. Because at the end of the day, we're like plants. And if we only grow from physical, mental, we're gonna be like, what's the point of all doing this if I don't have a purpose? This is how you find your purpose. You're connected with your inner self. Start praying more. You follow what's in the work and you get serious about it. Doing a digital detox, getting off your phone. Some of the best things to do in the summer. Get off your phone, focusing on your values, focusing on your morals. What do I wanna do different? this year versus last year? What did I do that I don't want to do anymore? Reflection. Reflecting on your old ways and new ways, new character traits or new values or new mor morals that you want to develop into your glow up. Purpose on why you want to glow up. Are you doing it for other people? Are you doing it for yourself to have confidence, to love because you want to better yourself? You want to love yourself more. That is going to be at the end of this video. I love you girls. Thank you so much for watching our physical, our mental, and our spiritual. I really hope y'all enjoyed that video and I will see you in the next one.